Hi, it's Elvir. Thanks for tuning in. I like to talk with you briefly for a moment about one of the seven major negative emotions that we people, we humans have, and this one is superstition. Now, I've taken a couple of notes because I needed to learn more about superstition. For me, superstition mostly comes up with a negative connotation to it. I haven't really learned much about a positive uh, connotation to the superstition. However, the way I read it, what I have found is that superstition is mostly used, the word is used for things that we cannot explain, things on this planet that occur that we cannot explain. And for the longest time, we believe that we are five sensory beings. We can hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. This is how we live. However, we're actually multi-sensory creations because there is so much more than we can see hear smell taste and touch because you know what energy where everything is made of energy have you ever seen energy have you ever smelled it i haven't so there's a lot of energy outside of us around us everywhere that we do not understand what exactly it is now I am a firm believer that you become what you think about. And where do your thoughts, how are your thoughts actually, or your beliefs actually created? Your belief comes before your thoughts. Well, that comes from your upbringing in your childhood. And it's like a, you know, you adapt, you accept, you hold for truth that what is given to you, spoon fed into you on a daily basis. So. If you are raised with firm beliefs about certain things, then you accept it for the truth because you are their child. You are the child of your parents. You are the child of your surroundings, your teachers. Don't they love to give you the best? So you trust them. And until you start to question certain things, you hold that for the truth. So if you are raised in a fashion whereby strange things are accepted as normal. And I had a lot of strange things in my childhood, you know, the superstition things. Don't walk under a ladder. Why wouldn't you want to walk under a ladder? What was the superstition there? Well, in my book, it's pretty simple. I'm straightforward. Before I walk under a ladder, I'll just look up to see if there's anybody on the ladder who might drop something on my head, right? But what about the black cat that, that races in front of you? that crosses the street in front of you. Those are so many superstitions that have ingrained themselves into life whereby we sort of lost what they really meant. You see, at a certain point, we got science and science has, has done its best to debunk a lot of things, but they have not been able to debunk the energies that are around us. And I believe from everything that I have read, that I have learned, that I can, through my thoughts, I can determine the energy where to go. So that doesn't mean that I can influence others. I could perhaps if they are open to it, if they allow me to influence them with my thought patterns. There's scientific proof of that, that that can be done. However, if you are aware of you can close off your mind. You can close yourself off to outside influences. And Napoleon Hill writes about this also in his Think and Grow Rich. Do not allow outside influences to, you know, become a major part in your life. You determine what it is that you believe and what you want to create in your life. So the superstition is something that we have picked up we have created centuries ago when science, when reasoning was not really so much in the forefront yet. So we have accepted it as truth. Not everybody, but many people have accepted it as truth. Question is, is it true for you? Does it really hold the truth that you want to live by? Well, for me, most part, no, thank you very much. It doesn't at all. So I believe that I can create the life I choose to create, and I'm doing that through my thoughts. I take control of my thoughts. I do not allow superstition, what I have been raised with also, 
to be in my life anymore. Maybe it pops up once in a once in a blue moon, and I just you know I sort of take it apart and I go like, okay, no, thank you very much. I create my life. I create everything I choose in in my life. And if I don't understand why something occurred in my life, I go back and I'm now able to connect the dots why certain things indeed. I have caused them on a very deep level through my thinking pattern. So here's the exciting thing about it. You can create your life. You can create your own economy. And if you like to learn more about that, then I would suggest click the button below. I'd love to help you with that. If you want to talk with me, please, I'd love to talk with you. Pick up the telephone. My telephone number is below. I'm a real person. And if you have superstition, that's great. Live with it as long as it doesn't harm you. If it harms you, then do away with it. Every day is a new day. Every hour is a new hour. You can choose how you choose to create your life. You are in control. Thanks for tuning in. Until we meet again, be well.